everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new H&M haul. So I was on H&M's website and I wanted to pick up a few more pieces for the end of summer. I feel like especially with the heat wave we've been having recently, I wanted to get a few more summery pieces into my wardrobe. I have seen so many people starting on the autumn fashion and I'm not ready for that in the slightest. I'm still very much about summer fashion at the moment. So I've picked up a few pieces to add into my wardrobe, which I thought I would show you today. And of course I will be doing this as a try on haul. I always do it as a try on haul so you guys can see what these pieces look like on. For reference, I'm a size 10 on top and a size 12 on bottom and I'm five foot in height. I know I mention that every single video but I know if I don't mention it I will get so many comments asking about my size and my height and my shape and everything like that. So for reference, <laughs> that's my size, that's my height. Hopefully that will help you out in deciding like being able to see how the clothes really look on because I know obviously being a shorter girl, clothes often look a lot different on us than they do on the models. So I always find it's really, really nice to show you guys what they look like on and to show what would suit like a shorter body. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jump straight in. So the first thing I picked up, I have been eyeing up for quite a while and I'm so, so happy that I managed to get my hands on it. I think it's been going in and out of stock a little bit in a few sizes, but I will link it down below and hopefully it will still be in stock in your size because it is literally the cutest dress in the world I absolutely love it it's this really adorable little kind of like skater skirt dress with a gorgeous little puff sleeve but the piece de resistance is this back detail it's got the most stunning back detail it's like a really big cut out with a really nice stretchy material here so it sits really really nicely on your waist and then you can tie a little bow at the back to make it look absolutely adorable I love this dress it's such a like pretty in the front, party in the back kind of a dress. I'm all for it. Now what I really really like about this as well is the colour. I feel like this is such a gorgeous oatmeal-y colour and this is the kind of colour that could definitely take you into a more autumnal wardrobe when the weather starts to change a little bit. You could easily style this up with like a little cardigan, maybe some boots, like some biker boots. I think they look really really cool and it's a great way to make more use out of the dress so that you're not just wearing it for the summer months and you can still get a little bit more wear out of it. So I can't wait to show you what this looks like on because I am in love with it. Okay, so this dress is literally just the cutest thing in the world. Now I'm pretty sure, oh that's really nice, I forgot to check the tag, I'm pretty sure I got it in a 10. Yeah, I did. Because the thing with these kinds of dresses is that I find if you size up, they're not as flattering, like it needs to be fairly tight around your waist, for it to look flattering I personally find and it fits absolutely perfectly I'm definitely glad I went for the 10 I think a 12 would have just been a bit too loose and especially on the back like I do find I've gone for a bit of a loose bow actually I think I probably should have done it a bit tighter but I haven't got anyone with me to like help me tie it up but it just looks absolutely adorable obviously with the back detail it's so so cute and like really shows off this back detail and because you can tie the bow as tight as you want I don't have to worry too much about there being like a big gaping back you know I've spoken about before like sometimes with dresses I find with back details it ends up like crushing down like what's the word not crushing down but like it basically is too big for my back and so it ends up like sagging that's why it sags and it doesn't look cute whereas this because you can tie the bow as tight as you want I find that you don't end up having that like really saggy material I just think this is the cutest thing in the world. I'm in love with this dress. The colour is gorgeous. It really, really suits me with the tan on. I really, really love this kind of colour when I've got a bit more of a tan. I think it looks so, so nice. And I think on a darker skin tone, this would look absolutely stunning. So if you're a bit more olive skin tone or even darker, I think this would look gorgeous on you. I'm in love with it. Oh, I don't want to take it off. It's just too cute. Now, the next item I picked up when I saw these in H&M, I was like, oh my gosh, these are not H&M. These look very like Zimmerman vibes, very Revolve, a lot more expensive than they actually are. Oh, I hate it. They never tell you the price on the online tags, um, but I will link them down below because I remember they were very, very affordable. Now, I picked these up in a size 12 because obviously they don't have a stretchy waist. They're a much more like formal pair of shorts, which I really, really like. I just love the detail down the bottom. This kind of like embroidery going on, I think is absolutely stunning and it just makes the shorts look so, so expensive. I really, really like how the seam isn't obviously just like straight, like they've got this really gorgeous detail going on down at the bottom, which I think is absolutely stunning. Now the color is actually really, really similar to the dress, a very like oatmeal-y color, which these are my favorite kind of colors to go for for the end of summer, because I find they're very, very easy to transition into an autumn wardrobe and you get so much more wear out of them. I really, 
really love these shorts i think they are just the perfect addition into your end of summer wardrobe i cannot wait to try these on and show you guys what it looked like because i am obsessed with these i think these are going to stay in my wardrobe for a very very long time i'm absolutely in love with this pair of shorts now they are a little bit longer than i was expecting i think any longer and they wouldn't be as flattering they are actually a little bit looser like if you look at the back i do have a little bit of gaping which is quite common so i reckon if you're between sizes i'd say go for a size down if you're like one specific size i'd say st stick to your size um but it is a little bit looser than i was expecting but i do really really love them do they have pockets they have pockets <laughs> we love shorts and pockets but i just think they look absolutely adorable like i really really love the embroidery on them i really really love the detail i think they're just absolutely gorgeous such a staple pair of shorts in your summer wardrobe and they look 10 times more expensive than they actually are now the next item when i saw this i thought it was going to be more of a play suit but i think in real life just off the hanger it looks more like a beach cover-up so i'm not sure how this is going to look like on it could look really really cute and like a normal play suit or it could look like something that you're supposed to throw over a bikini i'm not entirely sure what it's designed for but nonetheless it is cute i really really like the embroidery detail i think you guys can tell i've been going for a bit of a theme in this haul like it's a lot of embroidery a lot of neutral tones can you tell i have a type but i really really like this i think it's absolutely adorable i really like the tie waist detail because i find you can cinch them in as tight as you want and you can make them as flattering as you want or you can leave it a bit looser to be a lot more comfortable i think this is absolutely gorgeous it's got very very like wide sleeves which i think is always really comfortable in summer especially during a heat wave but you don't want anything like touching your underarms because i don't know about you but i get massive sweat patches so it's really nice to have something really like loose and wide and like loose fitting that isn't going to give you really big sweat patches so i think this is an absolutely adorable little play suit again it's got the embroidered detail down at the bottom very very similar to the shorts and it has like a scalloped edge which i think is just gorgeous it makes the play suit look so much more expensive than it is it looks like it's got so much detail in it and for the price i think it's just absolutely amazing i've just noticed as well the scallop actually comes down all the way on the neckline which i think is such a lovely detail to add into so i can't wait to try this one on and see what it looks like i'm hoping it's not going to be too see-through and that i'll be able to wear it as a normal play suit and not just as a beach cover-up but we shall see i love it i'm not gonna lie to you guys i did a bit of a happy dance when i put this on because it's not see-through and it doesn't look like a beach cover-up on it literally just looks like a really cute little play suit it doesn't have pockets you'll always see me in videos doing this looking for pockets it doesn't have pockets but that's okay i think it's just so so cute and one thing i really like as well is if you can see here it's got a little popper detail and i really like that on plunge necklines because i find when you're a bit shorter they do sometimes come down like a little bit lower on most people um and so there's like a lot of boobage hanging out and i'm not always most comfortable having a lot of boobage hanging out so i really like that there's a little popper just to like keep it in place keep everything secure and oh my gosh i'm in so in love with this play suit this is just absolutely gorgeous such a perfect little summer play suit when the weather's really hot it's really light actually like it's a lot lighter than i was expecting it to be which is just absolutely perfect for the kind of weather we've been having recently i love it so so much i don't want to take it off <laughs> now the next item is an absolute classic i don't know about you guys but i always love getting my classic items from h&m and all my basics from h&m i find that they do the best basic items and they're really really high quality while still being affordable this top was 2.99 2.99 i think i'm going to pick up a few more in different colors because they are just the perfect tops for summer when it's really really hot and you just barely want anything on you they look really perfect paired with like the shorts that i showed you it looks really really cute just to kind of like add a bit more detail to the shorts obviously you don't want too much going on on top because the shorts are like more of the focus point of the outfit so i find this is the perfect kind of top when you just want something really simple really cute just to like add on to something maybe a bit more dressed up or even just a pair of like denim shorts if you're going for like a really really classic and easy outfit i love h&m staples i need to get a few more in my wardrobe because i wear them all the time and they are just my favorite favorite basic items literally these tops are just such a staple in my wardrobe i can't go without them the square neckline i find is very very flattering on me you guys know i love a square neckline and the little strappy sleeves are just so so perfect for summer when you don't want a lot on you just want something really really simple especially when you're styling it up with something a bit more like details such as these shorts i think it's a really great way to be able to like really show off a piece of clothing and like keep it a bit simple on top so i would definitely recommend getting your hands on these tops they are just such a classic i mean they're only 2.99 so it's literally you can't lose <laughs> 
And next up is a place that I'm pretty sure you guys would have all seen on your feeds recently. I am obsessed with this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, the only concern I'm going to have with this is the length. It is obviously a full length play suit. It's a maxi play suit. Maxi play suit? A maxi jumpsuit. And obviously, being a shorter girl means it's going to be difficult in length and it might be a bit too long. But I thought we could try it on, see what it's like, see what it looks like, see if it fits our height. The other issue is that it doesn't have adjustable sleeves. So I am going to have to see what it looks like and if it's like way too long on my torso or anything like that. That is always the issue with like gorgeous jumpsuits like this. It's when they're not adjustable, you just can't get around it. Like you can't make it any shorter or anything like that. So we'll see what it looks like. The fact that it has the ruched detail is really, really gorgeous. I love ruched details. I'm such a fan of them. For summer, they are so, so comfy and easy to wear. I'm very, very in this summer, which is great because they are literally comfort levels to 100. So I can't wait to try this on and see what it looks like. It's a linen blend, which I think is absolutely perfect for summer because obviously it's very, very light, very breathable and really easy to wear. And it means that you're not like sweating loads. Um, and I've got this in size 12 as well because I remember I picked up the black version of this in a 10 and it was quite tight. So I thought I'll get the 12 so it's a little bit looser because it's got the stretchy fabric. I do find they come up a little bit smaller. And also because it's a wide leg, I'd much rather have it a little bit looser on my leg than too tight. There's nothing worse than a wide leg that's actually really, really tight on your legs. So we'll see what this looks like on. I'm really hoping it fits because it's just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I knew this would be way too long on me on the legs. But actually, I kind of like it. I don't think it's too big. The sleeves are a little bit loose. Like, they could fall down. But, but I just really like it. I wasn't expecting to like it this much. I think it looks really, really cute. The ruched detail is really nice. It sits quite nicely on my waist, actually. Sometimes these come down a little bit further and you get a bit of ruching, like, on the hips and then, obviously, you look a little bit bigger. But the ruching stops, literally, like, on the smallest part of my waist, which is really, really nice. And I know that the, the trousers are too long, but I would happily wear, like, a pair of heeled sandals just to kind of, like, get them off the floor a little bit. I think I'm going to keep this because this is really cute and just like a really comfortable little end of summer play suit just to like keep you nice and cool, really, really comfortable and it looks absolutely adorable. Now this next item is going to be once a little bit difficult to show you on the hanger but once I try it on it you'll be able to see what it looks like and it's this gorgeous, gorgeous bodysuit. This is very much like a summer in Ibiza kind of bodysuit. It's so, so cute and you might be looking at it thinking that's not normally your style, Ellie, but I saw it and I was eyeing it up quite a while and I thought, do you know, what? I'm just going to take the plunge, see what it looks like, see if it can go over the boobage area and if I'm comfortable and if I am, then I'm going to keep it because it's absolutely gorgeous and it's in my favourite colour right now. You guys know I'm obsessed with sage green. I absolutely love everything sage green. They did have this bodysuit in like a really gorgeous blush colour but I felt like the sage green was just more my vibe and also easier to carry on into like the autumn months. So I decided to pick it up in the sage green because I just thought that's gonna last me a lot longer. But it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a really, really soft like tulle fabric and then it's really silky on the inside so it feels really, really comfortable to wear. I kind of wish it was a swimming costume because it's absolutely gorgeous. This is the kind of thing, if you wanted to, you could probably wear it as like beach wear but you couldn't get it wet. But I know that some girls like to do that. I mean, that's not really my vibe, but some girls like to do that. So you probably could get away with wearing this as a swimming costume if you're not going to go in the pool or in the sea or anything. But I just think it's really, really cute. I'm hoping it's going to be flattering on because it's absolutely adorable. I can't wait to try it on and show you what it looks like. I'd love to know your guys' opinions about this top because I do really, really like it. I think this is the kind of top I wouldn't ever feel comfortable wearing around Britain, but if I was on holiday, I think I would definitely feel comfortable wearing this. Like, just around, you know, if you're really, really hot and you just barely want anything touching your skin. I must say, I really do think this looks a lot more like a swimming costume, especially when you don't put the shorts on. You could definitely get away with wearing this as a cosy if you wanted to, but as I said, you just wouldn't be able to get it wet, which is a bit annoying. It fits really, really nicely. Like, it sits nicely over my boobs. There's nothing worse than, like, having a bit of side boob poking out, and actually, it fits really nicely, and I think even if you had bigger breasts than me, you could still fit into this, like, you wouldn't fill it out too much. Um, I think it sits really nicely like around my arms. I always hate it when they come too tight and like you always get like that weird roll and like side boob and it's just not flattering. But I really like how it looks. I think it's a really cute little top. The perfect little holiday bodysuit to add into your wardrobe. Okay guys, we are on to the last item and it is this absolutely adorable little puff sleeve top. I feel like if there was ever a top to epitomise petite style, 
this would be it. It's got a gorgeous ruched detail, it's got the puff sleeves, it's got a little embroidery, literally ticking all my boxes, and it's white. It's ticking all my boxes. I absolutely love it. Now, it looks a little bit big. I think I picked it up in a medium, yeah, um, because these ruchings usually come up a little bit tight, but it's looking a little boxy, but I'm going to see what it looks like on. I feel like it will stretch over your boobs and everything, and it should be okay now it has a square neckline as well which i absolutely love you guys know how flattering i find at square necklines on a shorter body personally i just think a square neckline that opens up your chest a little bit and makes you look a little bit like taller and especially someone who doesn't have broad shoulders makes me just look a little bit broader and i absolutely love it the sleeves are adorable really really cute little puff sleeves they are so my vibe so my cup of tea so i can't wait to try this on i think this would look so so cute with the pair of embroidered shorts i think that would look absolutely adorable with like the embroidery on the sleeves the embroidery over the shorts i think it would just like tie the whole outfit in together and look adorable so i can't wait to show you what this looks like i absolutely love this top as well i knew this would just be such a perfect top and even though it looked quite square on the hanger it comes up really really nicely obviously because it's a ruche detail it stretches really nicely over your boobs and i find it sits really nicely over your stomach like you know what this is an area i don't like so much but ruche detail i find is really really flattering absolutely love it the sleeves are just adorable they look so so cute and i really like it paired up with the shorts it's such a like perfect neutral summer outfit paired with like a cute pair of sandals and a little neutral bag i think would look so so cute so i really like this top i think you can also wear it off shoulder yeah that's quite cute actually sorry i've got the mirror over here um you could also wear it off shoulder if you're really a big fan of like the bardo style if you want to get a bit of tan i think that's a really really cute outfit and such a perfect summer top Okay guys, so that was everything that I picked up at H&M for the end of summer. I can't believe we're coming into autumn now, but I'm still clinging on to the remainders of summer. I'm not ready to let it go just yet, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do let me know what your favourite item was in the comments. I always love hearing what your favourite items were in the haul and what you're thinking of picking up. I always love love knowing but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'd love it if you came and subscribed and joined us for more i've got loads of haul videos that you guys can catch up on i'll put this into a haul playlist and you can feel free to just go through see what i've been picking up over the summer months see what i've been buying see how much damage i've been doing to my credit card <laughs> but i will see you guys in my next one